Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the original old school arm blaster workout. The arm blaster originally came onto the pages of the old school muscle mags in the 1970s with photos of Arnold with the words, did you ever see such mind blowing biceps? And you see Arnold there is straining as he curls those weights. And although Joe Weider would advertise the arm blaster as a piece of gym equipment that could replace the preacher curl bench without going into the physics of the preacher curl exercises, the arm blaster could never replace the preacher curl action as the preacher curl's mechanics are a bit different and allow one to use massive poundages as the bench allows us to sink the elbows into the bench, giving us better leverage. However, Joe Weider was not that far off. He was actually on the right track and in fact, the arm blaster was quite similar to a different exercise that came out of Vince's gym known as the perfect curl. Because when using the arm blaster, the idea was to fix the elbows slightly in front of the body to prevent any cheating action and one would have to perform the curling movement in a much stricter fashion, which is exactly the way that Vince would have his clients and trainees performing the perfect curl as shown in this photo. But besides performing perfect curls, the arm blaster was advertised as a piece of equipment that allowed one to perform strict arm movements in general, and that meant performing strict movements with the arm blaster for the triceps and forearms as well as the biceps, giving one a complete arm workout. The following workout is the original arm blaster workout which shows Franco Colombo, Arnold's BFF and training partner, using the arm blaster to train biceps, triceps and forearms. The arm blaster workout consisted of performing the following exercises for 4 sets of 10 reps using the arm blaster. For biceps, the standing easy barbell arm blaster curl was performed, followed by the seated dumbbell arm blaster curl. For triceps, the standing close grip triceps arm blaster press down was performed and finally for triceps, the single arm standing triceps extension with the arm blaster was also performed. For forearms, which is the final section of arms trained with the arm blaster, the exercises were the standing reverse arm blaster curl and the standing arm blaster wrist curl behind the body. Now I'm going to go into detail for each of these exercises and as to how the arm blaster actually helps isolate each of the body parts of the arms, that's the biceps and the forearms and the triceps of course, as you use the arm blaster. So looking at the standing easy barbell arm blaster curl, you were to perform the easy barbell curl standing up using the arm blaster, focusing of course on the contraction on, on each rep. But the idea of the arm blaster here is to keep the elbows slightly forward of the torso and the elbows in a fixed position. And in this way, the movement is strict and affects the biceps fully and completely negates cheating. It is important to note that in the case of working the biceps, the arm blaster prevents assistance by the deltoid group. In particular, the front deltoid, which generally comes into play when performing standing barbell curls. And therefore, the arm blaster puts the complete motion into the biceps by preventing the front deltoid from coming into play. You would of course to perform four sets of 10 repetitions with this exercise. The second exercise, which is the seated dumbbell arm blaster curl. Again, you'd be seated on the end of a bench performing dumbbell curls, either alternated or in synchrony focusing on the contraction of each rep. But once again, the purpose of using the arm blaster here for seated dumbbell curls is to completely isolate the bicep whilst completely supinating as well the bicep by turning the wrist. So of course, this is now two actions. You're not just isolating the bicep by preventing again front deltoid movement, but now you can actually completely supinate the bicep by turning the wrist. And you should therefore get a full contraction from this movement as opposed to the mass gaining effect from the barbell arm curl. Again, by using the arm blaster, the elbow is kept locked in a position that prevents cheating and assistance from other muscles in getting the weight up. Again, perform four sets of 10 repetitions. The triceps is trained next and the first exercise is the standing close grip triceps arm blaster press down. Standing up and using a lat bar or a triceps straight bar, perform the triceps press down using an arm blaster and a close pro
pronated grip, holding each contraction and extension briefly. In the case of working triceps, both the latissimus and rear deltoid can also work to assist the triceps in extension motions. And we've seen plenty of gym bros do that. You know, they really try and heave the weight down by using other muscles. But by using the arm blaster, the elbow motion is completely restricted, preventing any assistance from assisting muscles, of course, putting the motion again completely now into the triceps. You want to perform four sets of 10 repetitions. The second exercise for the triceps is the single arm standing triceps extensions with the arm blaster. Using a single hand attachment, you perform standing triceps extensions with a pronated grip, working each arm separately and at the completion of each rep, you want to extend the arm a little further by slightly internally rotating the arm as shown here by Franco to get a full extension of the arm and contraction of the tricep. This is a shaping movement, whilst the standing press down is more of a mass builder. Again, perform four sets of 10 repetitions. Finally, training the forearms, you perform the first exercise, the standing reverse arm blaster curl. Using an easy curl barbell, performing the standing reverse curls will affect, of course, the forearm extensors. And by using the arm blaster, again, the shoulders cannot assist the brachialis in this case, which is also affected and creates a much stricter motion. You want to perform again four sets of 10 repetitions. And the second exercise being the standing arm blaster wrist curl behind the body. Again, standing and using a cable station, grab a one hand attachment and curl the wrist behind you using wrist motion only. Once again, by using the arm blaster, the latissimus or rear delt cannot aid the movement, allowing the exercise to affect the forearm flexors fully. Again, perform four sets of 10 repetitions. So in conclusion, if you have an arm blaster lying around, now you know exactly what to do with it. And more importantly, how to work each section of the arm. Enjoy this workout. And as a final tip, you will notice from all these photos that both Arnold and Franco used, believe it or not, a sponge when performing workouts with the arm blaster. That's right. The sponge was used to prevent pain from the pressure experienced from using the original arm blaster. When it was first produced, the arm blaster being made out of metal would pinch the skin and cause some discomfort. Nowadays, some arm blaster manufacturers Place a thin layer of foam to protect the user, but if you own an old school arm blaster like I do, or you find that the thin layer of foam is insufficient, do as the champs did and use a sponge or a towel or some similar material to protect your skin when performing the arm blaster routine. If you have enjoyed the video, please give the video a like, please subscribe if you haven't done so, and please leave me a comment. Do you ever use the arm blaster in your workouts? I know that some current classic bodybuilders use the arm blaster like, for example, Wesley Vizzers, and one can't argue with his results. Anyway, that's it from me. This is the Golden Era Bookworm saying, bye for now. Need a bodybuilding poster for your gym or office? Then check out ironmanmagazinearchive.smugmug.com for the highest quality posters on the planet. Scroll through the galleries of all the legends, including greats such as Arnold, Frank Zane, Sergio Oliva, Serge Nubre, Tom Platts, and Larry Scott, and much, much more, and select your poster now. Now, if you're interested in learning more about Vince Deronda's approach to bodybuilding, his principles, and all these tips of wisdom that he has, I mean, there's so much stuff that probably hasn't been proven by science, and it will take science to prove or disprove uh, Vince, but to be honest, these three books I believe, which I call the Classic Physique Bundle, are the best books that Vince ever came out with. And they, of course, are the Wild Physique, the Master Series, and the Pro Series. Have a look at it this way. The Wild Physique, I believe, is like the ABCs of Vince Deronda's principles to bodybuilding. He teaches you the exercises and his principles. But how do you put them together? Well, the Master Series is a 14-month program of using all of these principles, all of the diets that Vince came out with, all of the exercises, and believe me, it's a brilliant, brilliant program. Many people have used it. I know I know personally a lot of uh, bodybuilders that have actually used it and uh, f made fantastic results with it. And of course, the Pro Series was a book that he came out with later on, specially targeted for 
uh, getting into competition. It's just these, these three books, as I call it, the classic physique bundle, uh, Vince's best work and available, of course, at www.goldenerabookum.com. Now, the pro series of bodybuilding, which was targeted for professional bodybuilders, is a contains six programs, each of which go for two months each. So it's a whole year, uh, again, in preparation for competition. To support your favorite YouTube channel, please visit teespring.com slash store slash golden era bookworm for merchandise, including t-shirts, hoodies, face masks, phone cases, and much, much more. Once again, at teespring.com slash store slash golden era bookworm. Become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. The golden era of bodybuilding was born on the sandy platforms, rusty rings, and blistering high bars of Muscle Beach, where young men and women performed feats of strength and gymnastics, igniting a fitness boom that would reverberate for decades. By the 60s and 70s, the golden era was in full form, spreading like wildfire, and engulfing a new generation of bodybuilders who wanted nothing more than an all-natural, well-rounded physique. This lifelong pursuit of physical perfection created legends, including a young Arnold Schwarzenegger and Lou Ferrigno, the golden boy, Larry Scott, three-time Mr. Olympia, Frank Zane, and the Duke of Delts, Don Howarth. These men all had one thing in common. They all trained under the legendary iron guru, Vince Gironda. Vince believed above all else that bodybuilding was 85% nutrition and he scoffed at anyone who took shortcuts to achieve their fitness goals. At NSP Nutrition, we hold true to our roots and maintain Vince's spirit alive by sharing his belief that all you need to achieve greatness is the right exercises, the right foods and supplements, and the right attitude. At NSP, you'll find all of Vince's training manuals and books, as many diets that pair perfectly with these exercises, and of course, small batch, high quality production of Vince's original supplements. All our products are clean, superior formulas made from earth-grown nutrients, free of harmful chemicals, added sugars, and toxic preservatives. We make no compromises, take no shortcuts, and accept nothing but the best. Because the moment you decide to get back into shape or want to accelerate your gains and win your next competition, NSP will be by your side to help you achieve your personal health and fitness goals. That's how we maintain the spirit of the golden era champions and honor the legacy of our founder, Vince Duranda. Simply put, our customers trust NSP Nutrition and they appreciate what we stand for. Once you become a customer, you become part of the NSP family. This is NSP's commitment to you.